Hey sis, it's your girl Tahira Asha and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our prayer board for 2024. I'm just really late at editing and posting this video, but I did do this before New Year's Eve. So I did it the day before New Year's Eve and honestly y'all, it really does come out perfect. You'll just have to wait and see. If you're new here, welcome sis, subscribe to my channel, comment, like, do all the things to, you know, put me up there in that algorithm. Um, but these are all of the supplies. I got everything that you see here from Walmart. Um, and then I did use some planner stickers at the end just from my regular planner collection. Um, everything was less than $25. I kind of did want to go ahead and... I don't know, like, I feel like I wanted to do a 2024 prayer board instead of a vision board because I'm just one of those people who create a vision board and then never look at it again. And it just so happens that one of my personal goals was to get more into my Bibles. Then here we are. So I did speed this part up for you guys just a little. Don't worry, I'm going to slow it down in a bit. But this is really just me cutting out all of my pieces getting everything, you know, together so that I'm organized. Um, this whole process did take me a little while, y'all. Like, I'm not going to lie. It took me like two hours. Um, I did end up doing my Cricut because I just wanted, you know, something to be a little neat and tidy. Even though, you know, vision boards are like usually chaotic. I wanted my prayer board to have some order to it because I just feel like that's just what God has for me. But yes, <laughs> so I did use my Cricut for the words, but everything else was just me. Um, this is me watching TV while I'm doing this. Um, and then you're going to see in a bit how I position everything on my board. So I did get this idea from Facebook. And so what I'm going to do is just add three different envelopes with my words of the year on them. Um, and then inside of the envelopes, I am going to input sermons, verses, everything that, you know, I can think of that is encouraging and Bible related into these um envelopes and then just when I need you know words of encouragement a little affirmation a little pick me up or you know something like that or you know people start playing in my face people start getting on my nerves I can um <laughs> pull out one of those bible verses and get some type of encouragement motivation or just like some understanding of what it is that I'm going through and yes yeah, so these are the envelopes and then I'm going to do an answer envelope. Um, sorry, y'all. These are <laughs> my words of the year, faith, favor, and family. Now, in no particular order are these um, Bible verses related to either faith, family, or favor. Those are just my words of the year. And this was probably the part that took the longest, just, you know, going through the Bible, coming up with some Bible verses. I already had some verses highlighted for when, like, you know, I used to read my Bible. Um, and then these are the verses that I put on the card. I just did, you know, pink, yellow, blue, pink, yellow, blue, pink, yellow, blue, um, just to, you know, randomize it and then adding them into there. Now in the answered envelope that's going to be whenever I pray to God and he like just answers one of my prayers and it's really like God's word for me and I understand it and it's just something that I've been asking for and he has graciously given it to me then I'm going to put it in answered and one of the things that I want you to take away from this video okay now in no in no way shape or form am I well versed in the bible the word or anything but understand that sometimes God's answers to your prayers may be no. Okay, so this is what it looked like at first with that childish cross. So I changed the childish cross and then I just put, um, I used my stickers from my leftover um, sticker book and then just put the words faithful on there because those were the words that I had left over. Um, and it just really came out perfect, y'all. Like really, really came out perfect. I am going to get my husband to hang this up on my wall. But again, this was going to be a very short and sweet video. I think it's like less than five minutes. If you liked it, try it out, okay? There's nothing wrong with trying it out. If you're new here, again, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.